Viscoelastic silicone rubber is a remarkable new material that has a stiffness that depends on time. When things happen fast, a bump, a bounce, a jump, a stride, then viscoelastic silicone rubber appears stiff and resilient. But when life slows down and the viscoelastic silicone rubber has more time, it appears soft and compliant. If you stand on viscoelastic silicone rubber, it gradually conforms to your foot. And if you put viscoelastic silicone rubber under the leg of a rocking table, it adapts to fill the gap. Viscoelastic silicone rubber is stiff and resilient if you strike it fast. But it's soft and compliant if you push on it slowly. If you're in a hurry, it's like hard rubber. If you're patient, it's much softer. Yet, despite this remarkable hard and soft behavior, viscoelastic silicone rubber always returns to its original shape when you leave it alone. Viscoelastic silicone rubber is bouncy and even when you deform it slowly into a new shape, it's still bouncy as it slowly returns to its original shape. One way to measure the stiffness of rubber is with a durometer. This device pushes on the rubber and sees how much that rubber resists denting. The more it resists denting, the higher the reading of the durometer and the harder the rubber. This ordinary silicone rubber resists denting pretty strongly. It's pretty hard and we get a reading of 55 units. And that reading doesn't change with the time of the measurement. It's, it's always the same value. Here's a softer rubber that resists denting less uh, effectively and so it obtains a lower reading of hardness and that reading doesn't change with time. But when we go to a viscoelastic silicone rubber, now we get a reading that varies with time. This material is harder on short time scales and short measurements than it is on long time scales and long measurements. So you see the resistance to denting, which is being indicated by that dial, uh, gradually decreasing as the material relaxes, as time goes on, and it shows a softer and softer behavior. The time scale on which a particular viscoelastic silicone rubber shifts from hard to soft depends on its formulation. The red viscoelastic silicone rubber takes a very long time to show its softer side. It's slow to adopt the curled shape, and it's slow to return to its original shape. The mint green viscoelastic silicone rubber, on the other hand, has a much faster response. It adopts the curled shape quickly, and it returns to its original shape also quickly. The average stiffness of a particular viscoelastic silicone rubber also depends on its formulation. This piece is so stiff on average that it takes almost my entire weight to deform it, even when I'm patient. Once I leave it alone, it slowly returns to its original shape. But this pink viscoelastic silicone rubber is much softer, and I can deform it with only my thumb. Once I leave it alone, it returns, in this case, fairly quickly to its original shape. Viscoelastic silicone rubber could also be formulated as a foam, but despite its reduced density, this material still has all the features of an ordinary viscoelastic silicone rubber. It's bouncy and resilient on impact, but it deforms gradually under sustained pressure. And when you leave it alone, it gradually returns to its original shape.
You can form viscoelastic silicone rubber in much the same way you form ordinary silicone rubber. And you can use the same three curing techniques. The addition cure, the peroxide cure, and the condensation cure. This is the addition cure. The viscoelastic silicone rubber starts out as a soft putty. And we put it in its molds. We put a top on the molds. And we press the material into place. Then we take it off to cure it. After a short while at elevated temperature, the materials become a solid. It dents if you push on it slowly, but it's bouncy and resilient on impact. Here are those same materials, those same discs. We've taken them out of the mold, and you can see that if you push on them for a long period of time, they gradually deform to take on a new shape. And then when you leave them alone, they gradually return to their old shape. This material is a very slow material, and so we have to speed up the motion to let you see it return to its original shape. But sure enough, it goes back perfectly. Now for the peroxide cure. This viscoelastic silicone rubber starts out as a soft putty. We put it in its molds. We put a lid on the molds and we press the material into place. Then we take it off to cure it. After a brief period at high temperature, the material becomes a solid. It's soft if you're patient, but it's resilient and bouncy on impact. Here are those same discs out of their molds. And we push on it and let it change shape slowly. And then we leave it alone. And as you can see, in real time, it gradually returns to its original shape. And it does so perfectly. Here is the condensation cure. In this example, the viscoelastic silicone rubber starts out as a liquid, although it's also possible to start the condensation cure from a putty-like precursor material. We pour the liquid into the mold, let it settle, let the air bubbles rise out of it and pop, and then it's ready to cure. The next morning, it's no longer a liquid. It's now a bouncy viscoelastic solid. While the viscoelastic silicone rubber shown here is relatively firm, each of the three curing techniques offers a wide range of stiffnesses, from very soft to very hard. It also offers a wide range of response times, from very fast to very slow. Here's that same piece of viscoelastic silicone rubber removed from its mold. It's bouncy and resilient on impact, but it gradually deforms under steady pressure. And when you stop pushing, it gradually returns to its original shape. So there you have it. A brief introduction to the world of viscoelastic silicone rubber. It can be made so that it responds quickly, and it can be made so that it responds slowly. It can be made so that it's hard on average, and it can be made so that it's soft on average. But in every case, you have a material that adapts gradually to its situation and then provides firm support.